The next one we got up is one of the ones by Talon Buckholz. I remember us coming out, going out to his nursery mm. when we were our very first trips and seeing Japanese princess and just freaking out about these amazing Japanese princess specimens he had right. in his nursery. I would say to date, Japanese princess is probably the most popular variant of Makawi Yatsubusa. This is a dwarf pink form. It's a little slower growing than Makawi Yatsubusa. Tends to be uh, in that three to four foot range, even in 10 to 15 years. So a little bit more compact than Makawa. What makes this one special is that color variation. Uh, Japanese princess leaves out a soft pink to bright pink in the early spring, depending on how much sun you give it. If you're giving it more sun, you can get into those brighter shades of pink. If you're giving it more late day shade, you're gonna get some really interesting swirling. Oftentimes people will say, I found a sport on Japanese princess and I'll let them know that's just part of the magic that Japanese princess already has. If you, especially if you have this one in shade, it'll be a soft pink with swirling whites in it. And Tim often describes this as fading to more of a blonde coloration midsummer. Love this plant. It's so, it's awesome because of that spring color that it gives. It gives you that same tightly layering habit that Makawi Yatsubusa has. And while Makawi Yatsubusa has a flatter leaf, this one will actually curl a little bit. And it has a little more bubbly appearance to it mm -hmm. with that curl in the leaf itself. And that gives this plant a unique look even midsummer when the colors may be getting similar to some of the other Japanese maple types. Yeah, it just feels a little more ruffled. It's uh, very, very much a very ornamental tree. Now, any of these are gonna work great in container gardens because they're variations of Makawa, which is a dwarf compact form. So container gardens are gonna be excellent for these. Another very popular use is to add that deciduous splash into a conifer garden because Makawa and the Makawa family are dwarfer overall trees. They make a great deciduous splash to give you fall color and spring interest in an evergreen garden. And Japanese princess is no exception to that. I've seen it in some great conifer gardens. It's a, always a popular candidate for container gardening as well. And it is just a plant that is just unique. With that spring color, it was the first selection that people had made popular here in the United States. And it's a plant that people come and ask for by name because oh, yeah. this plant is so amazing. I mean, Japanese princess, one that should be turned into bonsai. Mm -hmm. um, it's one that gives you good spring interest, but also it's a slightly slower grower than Makawi Yatsubusa. I mean, Makawi Yatsubusa, very similar in their, its growth uh, habit, but slightly slower than Makawi Yatsubusa.